Welcome to Mike's Beer Channel on YouTube. One of our most popular videos has been Cold 45 High Gravity, I think it was called. That's crazy. It is really, I, it was over 800 views, I Ooh. believe. So I thought we'd try Old English 800 Malt Liquor. You were inspired by the fall colors on the can, right? Yeah. And I, yeah. And I walked into my normal that place to build a wall around a mart. Oh my God. <laughs> and I saw it on the shelf right next to Steel Reserve, which is something I normally pick up anyhow. So here we go. Although I was disappointed to find out. I'm not sure what your fans think of you now that you just said that you normally buy Steel Reserve. <laughs> like that you regularly buy Steel Reserve. Well, I, I, I drink PBR too. Hey, you're actually wearing your wedding, wedding ring today. I drink all. I am. I even wear my watch. It's a chronograph. I okay. love that. It's only 5.9% alcohol, which is kind of disappointing. Whoa. Oh, that doesn't mean that you should taste it. Every drop counts, man. You're also not supposed to taste it before you taste it, but you've tasted it before, so. No, I've never had this before. Really? Well, actually, I probably have. But it's oh. been, a, as the uh, hip people say, it's been a minute. Look at that, though. Holy head, Batman. It smells like the swell on the floor. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, Old English Brewing Company, which is a subsidiary of Paps Brewing. Actually, I take it back. It doesn't really smell like the swell on the floor. Swill on the floor. It smells It, it doesn't smell that bad, actually. It smells... It's got a very sweet smell. They use corn syrup in the brewing process, but it doesn't end up in the can. I don't know how that works. Other brewers have mentioned that, too. And they never, ever use high fructose corn syrup. Oh, because, you know... That's the bane of our Everybody's existence. worried about that. Mm. I just realized we both stopped talking right at the same time, so that was weird. Kind of sweet. It is. I don't taste hops at all. And the sweetness, that's probably a result of the corn syrup. I actually, it, it's malty. But yeah. I, it's not that bad, though, because a lot of malts are very heavy in your mouth, like syrupy coating, and this is not that bad. Yeah. It, I mean, now, it does coat a little, but... It coats, and it's just... A, it's it's a tad too sweet. Which, oddly enough, most of the, like... Uh, oh, my God, I'm blacking out. The Steel Reserve... Oh, my gosh, please don't do that. House Edge. Most of the 8% alcohol mainstream beers have a really sweet taste at the end. Because hmm. they're very sweet, because that's... I mean, that's how you get the alcohol. It well, eats the sugar. And then you have some more salty snacks, Yeast. and then you need some more alcohol. I'll be honest, this isn't bad. Mm, it's kind of brilliant, actually, that whole method of making you drink more. It's not bad. I honestly am quite surprised. Now, of course, I didn't do any pre-prep, and we don't do any editing whatsoever, ever, because that's not how I roll. Whatsoever, ever. Ever, ever. Ever, ever. Wow, I'm talking kind of messed up on our first video of the day. Mm. I mean, in all fairness, is... you were the first thing this morning, too, so. Oh, that's true. I woke up. Um, now, the cold 45, I, I, I'm sure you don't remember. No, I do not. Um, I have more th important things to keep on my mind than beer. Okay, so let's just go back a bit. Um, whoa! Yes, we have dogs. Um, this is not news if anybody's animal, watched before. Animal logger, gold schlar, angry orchard. So what do you think? I think it's it's not bad. It's kind of average though. Like It is kind of average. It's nothing special. It, it's not awful though. You know like how sometimes we say, yeah, it's a beer. We, like where you pull up to a bar and go give me a beer. So this yeah. is like, yeah, it's like, like a... Like a light malt beer. Does that make any sense? It's like a light malt liquor. It's like a, yeah. Well, it is. Well, it's, hard. it's not like excessively heavy for a malt liquor. So, I mean, if you're on a scale of malt liquor and you don't really like like the heavy, heavy. Yeah. It's just a bit, bit sweet. And although a lot of people will not still reserve, it's one of the 20 best selling beers in the country. So, what would make you pick that beer over another beer? Um... 
I mean, like, what was it like price wise? Oh, price wise, it's 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 pretty. It's the same. It's just like uh, it's like steel reserve. Did I ask a difficult question? Miller. <laughs> oh. uh, it's just it's like the normal value brand. It's a value brand, but. My only thing there is I think I'd rather have a steel reserve because a steel reserve, I don't think it's as sweet. It has a little more bite. Hmm. And it also has like 8% alcohol instead of 5.9. Because hmm. normally that's why you drink malt liquor. It's normally higher out, higher proof. So would you drink that only to drink or would you like drink it on a night where you were having like a certain food? Definitely would have to be something salty, I would think. I could see... Uh, This, it, this is like a bar food beer. Not really Stuff wings, though. No. Pizza. Pizza. Frozen fried stuff. Um, hmm. I mean, it's not bad. It's not, not offensive. So, what are you thinking? I don't know, like 80 something. 80? 80 something. Okay. What were you uh, thinking? I was thinking low 80s. Victoria, Harp. We've got quite a few. We have a lot of beers in the 80s. Let's go 84. Oh, okay. So, if you like malt liquor or you just want something a little different, or you like something sweeter, this is definitely sweet. Mm. You should give this a try. Oh, that was gassy at the bottom. Like, subscribe, and smash the notification <laughs> button. Till next time.